made a big move that kind of shook up the city. Why I leave Hayes, why I come to OSL. Let's talk about it. Man, this kid is probably the most pro-ready kid that we have. You can leave me on for any rankings. I'm just ready to hoop. I'm ready to have a great season. I'm I'm just feeling it right now, I ain't gonna lie. You pulling up to Canada? He was asking me, when y'all going? Wednesday, Wednesday, bro. Oh, no. It's five? <laughs> yeah, that's too soon. You gonna pull up to ATL, though. Oh, yeah. How y'all looking early season? Straight. It's alright, we good. Most of the same raids, but chilling. It's what it is. Bro, that was our first game. Yeah, that's bro. what I'm saying. We're not tripping, bro. We're definitely not tripping. Honestly, and they got us ranked last in the OTE rankings. We're gonna show them us. Yeah, they bugging. They're that bugging. One. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, though, we got underdogs, though. I mean, underdogs always. We're about to kill this season, bro. Watch. I feel good about this season. Yo, Bill. What's up? Good, my boy. Cool and good? Yes, yes sir. sir. New season? Yes, sir. New season. New opportunities. New Jelly Fam team. We got refs today. Yeah, that's crazy. That's the day I pull up. We got refs today. Shaky. I said refs in the, at the pickup okay. is crazy. <laughs> he said, yo, we found too much. I'm going to get you some real refs. <laughs> so basically, we got, we got three teams right now, right? Each team got 10 players. So we split up into five. If you win three in a row, you go off. But if you lose, you hop off. If you win, you stay on. But you win three in a row, you go, you can hop off, come back on later. You know what I'm saying? You can manipulate the rules however you want. You gotta tell me which up was good for y'all, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't let them shoot. But it'll be one free throw. So he's saying two, yes, correct. No, it's one for a uh, one for a two point and two shots for three. Yes. What's good to my shaky family? It's Coach P, OSL Jelly Fam. How's everybody feeling today? Oh my God, I'm going to T N nine um, here at Our Savior Lutheran. Um, it, it's, it's been this has been probably uh, one of my blessed years. Um, last year was amazing. Um, having my first McDonald's All-American. Um, this year, as we going into it, we have a younger group, right? Um, obviously with Magic Mel, Jordan Skyers, Yandel Jermaine, Kevin Wheatley, um, just to name a few, all guys who are younger and gotta play major, major roles. So this group, right, they're learning how to play together, learning how to win, um, and I'm giving them a bunch of challenges before we get to that November 1st date when it's for real and we playing in OTE. Was good, yeah. Jordan Skyers, class 2026. Last year, to from this year, is kind of different because uh, last year I was more of a role player. You know, I was playing behind uh, a key guy, uh, um, Ian Jackson and uh, Elijah Moore. So overall, last year I was just learning from them. This year, my, my basically my role is to be be a leader. I've been here before, I've done this. So, like we have five five new guys that haven't really done this before, that don't understand what's going on. So, same thing I went through last year, coming to the league, thinking everything's sweet. You know, they, they going through that same thing, but I gotta realize that it's really not. Like, coming into OTE is a big step and it's different. What's good, y'all? It's Magic Mel at OSL. Just finished the last open run. Let's talk about it. Uh, you had you had everybody with all the rumors yeah. all summer. Yeah. Um. What what made you choose OSL? What made you what made you come over here this part of the Bronx? Oh uh, man, gotta go. Gotta stick with my man's Jo, man. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I just think that this was the best time for him to make the move. Um, Jordan Sky is being there with him in the backcourt is very, very good because Jordan Sky has had that experience last year. He got a chance to play with those guys. He knows uh, what is needed to be successful. 
And I think that they can really, really help each other in that backcourt. OTE gonna get me better at my competition. The competition is good out there, so I'm ready for all of that. I'm gonna prepare for college. Mel is really the face. Mel is the face, right? And um, I think the best way to describe Mel is magic. Mel is, is a high level and super dynamic passer. Could get everybody involved and could also score. So he's the head of our snake right now. <laughs> How you handling like all the pressure that, that's coming with being one of the top guards out? Uh, every time you play, yeah. like every guard's gonna try to come at you, no off yeah. days. Uh, how are you handling that as a young kid? Yeah. Oh man, handling that is like easy, man. Just stay locked in, man. Cause I know that I want to go at this point guard too. Like I want to go at all the top people, uh, especially like somebody thinking nah, I'm the top player too. They they're gonna want to go at me, so I'm gonna be prepared for that too. And uh, all the work I put in uh, is gonna get me prepared for that. I'm ready for all that? I want all the smoke. <laughs> Thomas Basong, man, this kid is probably the most pro-ready kid that we have. 6'8", strong body, uh, can play, he's a small forward, can shoot the three, can handle the ball, and is a tenacious defender. Um, I just think sky's the limit for him. He played out in France, so he has great experience. Uh, played on the national team, so he has great experience, but he's amazing. <laughs> Yandel, he should have a breakout year. A uh, very fast, dynamic point guard can pass or score the ball and plays both sides of the floor. Oh, Bill, our commander, our leader, um, our skilled guy who plays the four um, at 6'10", is able to guard on the perimeter and shoot the three and block shots. <laughs> Like the, to play for Pete. Pete, man, it's a movie. <laughs> it's, it's really a movie, to be honest. He got a lot of energy. When we don't got the energy, he brings the energy. So it forces us to pick it up. And he, he, he really does push us, like, from the jump. Before I even came here, he told me he's going to be a pusher. And he's really living up to that. He pushes us every day in practice to our full potential because he knows what we could be, and he just wants us to be great at the end of the day. You made a big move that kind of shook up the city. Why leave Hayes? Why come to OSA? Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, people wasn't really expecting it, but I made the move to OSL uh, for OTE because, like, uh, personally, I'm a senior, so I just feel like it was a better move, better competition, and, like, the atmosphere is better. They really push us to our full potential, and they push us to work, and I just feel like it just would have been a better opportunity for me going into college, get my body right, get my mind right, play against college guys, and just prepare. Last year, after having five seniors, McDonald's All-American, guys who were seasoned, Del Quan Warren, Solomon Aminu, the uh, the leading rebound in the OTE, um, it's a little bit different. Uh, we got guys who are younger. Um, guys last year, they came over with accomplishments, things that they've already done, right? Um, this group is a little bit younger. They're trying to create right, um, their, their lane, so to speak, or basically to win their trophies. And I think that's the tough part. That's the crazy dynamic about thereafter. Because now, because Ian was here and because we did well last year, there's now an expectation for us to be greater than we were last year. So these kids have a, I want to say it's a little bit tough uh, because they have to learn quicker than the last group. <laughs> I don't really care. Like, you can leave me off for any rankings. I'm, I go to all these camps other other people go to, and I kill. So as long as I'm killing, I really don't care what what the rankings say. You can have me at whatever. Like, I'm just ready to hoop. I'm ready to have a great season. I'm I'm just feeling it right now. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, 
Doug Shake, man. You know I gotta do an interview with you every day. Dre, pop up, man. Yeah. You with Shake? Say what's up to Shake, man. What's up, Shake? What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs>